Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing the furry friend tag, and I don't exactly have my furry friend with me right now. She is downstairs, chilling out. Um, she wouldn't come upstairs with me. But I do have video footage of her that I just took a few minutes ago, so I guess I'll just insert that here. Minnie, come here. Say hi. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Hi. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. You want a tummy rub? You want a tummy rub? Oh, look. You're a bunny. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, Minnie. Yeah. Oh, you don't like that? Okay. Brr. Hey, Minnie. You don't like the camera? Well, you know what? Too dang bad, girlfriend. You like your tail? Come on. Oh, yeah. When you rub her a certain place, she starts scratching. Oh, that's awkward. Hey, come here. Alright, so that is my furry friend, and I guess we'll just get started with the questions. There's nine of them. Um, the first one is, what is your pet's name? Her name is Minnie. Number two, what kind of pet is it and what breed? She is a mini American Eskimo dog, obviously. She's not a cat. I hope you were all able to see that. Um, how long have you had your pet? We've had her for a year and four months, I believe. So last September, 2011. Um, how did you get your pet? Um, well, actually, it's kind of a heartwarming story, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah, last September, um, our neighbor came up to us, and she's like, yeah, you know, I know this girl, and she has a doggy daycare, and there is a dog who is abandoned, and they're looking for a home for her, and we know that you're looking for a dog and stuff. So we went downtown, and we took a look at her, and we fell in love with her. So, um, after a few weeks, because... What they had to do is they had to like write a letter to the um, previous owner, even though it was like some sort of legal thing because they're basically giving the dog that, giving us the dog that this person actually took to the doggy daycare, saying that they were gonna get her back, but he never did. Um, and he gave like a fake address and stuff, so I guess he just wanted to get rid of the dog, but didn't really know how. And this was actually the second time that she was abandoned. She was abandoned once in Toronto, and then the guy who abandoned her at the daycare um, downtown was the one who picked her up from Toronto and then moved her here and then yeah it's kind of confusing but we are actually her third owner that we know of so it's kind of sad but we got her and we love her and oh she's she's my little baby um number five how old is your pet she is nine years old even though we've had her since she was eight we only had her for a year and a bit but she is nine um, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? I don't know if it's really quirky. Quirky? I don't know. I don't really use the word quirky. But, um, she does not like it when I touch her paws, or with, when anybody touches her paws, because we believe that she was abused, so she doesn't really like men, and she doesn't like it when people touch her paws or her tail, so it kind of sucks. But, um, it's just her way of making sure that she stays safe. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? She is like my best friend. I don't know, it sounds kind of weird. But I love Minnie. She's adorable and she's awesome. I like taking her for walks and she does bark a lot. She's a barky dog, but yeah, I like Minnie. She's like my BFF. Um, wow, I only have two questions left. This is fast. Um, number eight, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your furry friend? I like just taking her out for walks and we take her to like my grandma's places and she always has fun there and she like always begs for food. She always begs for food. Like we'll be sitting at the table having dinner and she'll be sitting there with like her paw up because she always puts her paw up um, whenever she wants something so she'll be sitting there and oh, it's just really cute. Maybe if I can I'll get a video clip of that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I remember one time last year I came home sick and I was really in the mood to watch a movie so I went on to like the um, our TV provider's um, digital, what's it called? 
it's like their movie thing where you can buy movies from the provider and then you can have them for 24 hours. Um, well, they had a free one and it was Despicable Me, so she sat on the couch with me and we watched Despicable Me. It was really cute. I'm trying to think. I know that there's something else, but I can't really think of what it is. Um, yeah. I guess when she, like, comes with us places and she wanders around and I don't know. But I like taking her out. Taking her for walks, I think, is my favorite because we just sit there and we walk together and it's very peaceful. Um, and the last one is, what are the nicknames you call your pet? We call her Minnie. My sister calls her Mimi, like Mimi. Um, because my family's Greek, we like Greekify her name, so her name is like Minata, Minaka, Minnie, obviously. I know there's something else. Minnie, Mimi, Minata, Minaka, Minula, Minula, um, Minitsa. Like, we basically Greekify her name. <laughs> I'll be like, Mimi, come here, hello. Um, but yeah, that's the furry friend tag. That was actually really short, and this is gonna be an easy video to upload, yay, because it's not gonna take forever to upload, and I'm very happy about that. And because you didn't actually get to see her very much, I will just enter some pictures and video clips and this, that, and the other. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tag, and I hope you enjoy Mimi. She says hello, she gives you kisses, kind of. She, I don't know. I was going to say she's going to lick you, but that sounds really weird. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!